guys, Chris Beans Labrado, and this is another Bowler's Rant. So, today's exercise. I've been doing some research about layouts, and I wanted to do something different. I recently required the new Radical Jackpot, which is a symmetrical ball with a pro cover stock designed for house patterns, and I wanted to get it drilled with something a little different. I found a layout online called the Triangle Layout. It's three holes in a triangle pattern around the center of gravity, or what we call the CG. And depending on how you grip it, and this is very you know, important because there's no thumb hole, there's only three finger holes, and it's designed for people who do num no thumb bowling, two-handed bowling, etc., etc. So depending on how you hold the ball, the pin position has six different positions, which means you've got six layouts, AKA six balls in one. And this sounded too good to be true. So I took this ball over to Jason Zook at Panorama, thank you, Jason, and he drilled it up for me, and I threw it today, and wow, six different balls in one ball. This, is, this offers a lot of advantage yet, and I don't completely understand the motions quite yet. I'm still analyzing the video, but in essence, you really do get six balls in one. Let's take a look at some footage and what the ball reactions look like. Okay, so here we have 11 o'clock, long and strong. It looks like your standard layout goes long, hits smooth, very, very predictable. A uh, little bit sharp on the return. This one was my favorite. I really liked 1 o'clock. It was just really, really smooth. I felt it was the most, uh, the easiest of the layouts to pr predict and to throw consistently. Uh, really, really, really liked this one. I had some trouble with this one. Uh, it really didn't want to come back or it came back too much. And it's probably just my inconsistency throwing the ball, but I wasn't able to do very good with this one. Five o'clock was pretty nice. It rolls a little earlier because it's pinned down. Um, what I did find is that it was like just a really big power bomb, though. It would really come back and hit. Unfortunately, I just didn't have a great amount of uh, success controlling it, but it does hit hard and you get a lot of pin carry. 7 o'clock was one of my favorites. I didn't do so well with these warm-up throws, but off-camera I had a lot of success. It has a very nice skid, roll, and hook motion to it. The hook motion isn't necessarily as strong as, say, 9 o'clock or uh, 11 o'clock, but it definitely is predictable, and with enough time and practice, I think it would do anybody really, really well. Nine o'clock was really interesting. The only way, if I had one word to describe it, I would say boomerang. It was just a very skid snap. I didn't feel like it had a ton of roll. It just went down and then it would just bounce back. Very powerful and very versatile if you're gonna play deep. As you can see, six different ball reactions, six different motions, it's six layouts, essentially six balls in one ball. I highly recommend this for anybody who is a two-handed bowler or anybody who is a no-thumb bowler and wants to get value out of the ball. There is a trade-off. For any of you people who are no thumb bowlers on your strike throw, but use your thumb for your second throw, this may not be the ball for you. Because some people, and I tend to be one of those people, I like to have control when I'm throwing my second throw, especially if I've overthrown or undershot and I've got a cluster of balls I want to break up. I find having the thumb for that control can really save my bacon. However, if you consistently only use uh, two hands on your when you throw or you are consistently a no thumb bowler this layout is definitely for you and I highly recommend it well that's it for today it's been another bowler's rant thanks for watching